While Beyonce shows the nation's capital some love, another superstar apparently still has some bad blood with the DMV. And this news may have some fans seeing red, even maroon. Producer Chris is in the control room with why it wasn't the best day for some Swifties. Chris, uh, listen, I, I, lo I actually really like Taylor Swift. I'm not like a Taylor Swift stan, but I'm a little, I'm a little hurt by this. Mm. I don't think <laughs> a lot of Swifties are going to disagree with you. And listen, if you've had enough of the lyric or song <laughs> title puns, <laughs> Hang on to your hats. All right, Jeanette, don't blame me, but Taylor may never be getting back together with DC. And as a result, it's turning into a real cruel summer for all the local Swifties. And unfortunately, it's a feeling they know all too well at this point, okay? Because Taylor Swift announced a new batch of North American Eras tour dates yesterday. And once again, there is a blank space where Washington, <laughs> DC should be. We're apparently still in exile. Instead, the fall 2024 lineup will be a love story story for Miami, New Orleans, <laughs> Indianapolis, oh, wow. and Toronto. The current leg of the tour started back in March, wraps up next Wednesday in LA. Then she heads to Central and South America, Asia, and Europe. The mastermind will be back in the U.S. next October for the nine new shows that then wrap up in November. This huh. tour is Swift 6, but has broken ticket and merchandise sales records. It will reportedly gross more than $1 billion wow. in sales. So listen, guys, the last time Taylor Swift performed in D.C. was 2018 for her reputation tour. I don't know if everything has changed or if it, this is karma for something the region has done. But I do know fans are going to have to shake it off, tolerate it, or just run to make sure <laughs> travel plans, to make travel plans if they do want to see her live in person. And one last thing, never yes. in my wildest dreams did I think I would be able to make this many song references in one script. That had to have been close to 22. Yeah. But Taylor Swift, look what you made me do. Guys. <laughs> I'll send it okay. back to you. So first off, that was that was that was actually very impressive. It was um, actually secondly, 22 song references. Are, are you a Swifty? I am not. No. But, uh, that is but, you not being a Swifty. Okay. But, yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> and did you do give, anything else this morning? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> but I do have to give a shout out to the original, the OG, the Godfather, Mike Thomas, who did that Taylor Swift thing better than all of us <laughs> years ago. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. I, I do wonder. I so I, clearly this has to be some kind of business move. What I mean by that is like. They're very strategic about where uh -huh. they decide to do their tour stop. So it's got to be, I'm thinking maybe it's just more profitable or maybe logistically it's easier somewhere maybe else. logistics. Yeah, because it you doesn't see, make sense. Uh, people come out here. I mean, you see people came out for Drake. He hit yeah. all his records last weekend. Everyone's coming out for Beyonce. Mm -hmm. So what is it about Taylor Swift fans? Well, Taylor, Taylor Swift will personal. tell you. They'll drive up to Philly. It's okay. They did it last time. <laughs> they did. They did. <laughs> so. She'll, they'll come where she comes. Exactly. That is true. Yeah, and she puts on a good show, so it'll, it's worth it. All right, uh, Chris, thank you. Thank you.